Data is an extremely powerful and world leading survey platform which helps you to build, share and analyze intuitive and personalized surveys with the help of AI. Its advanced analytics and integrations helps you to take quick actions to be to on the qualitative and quantitative data and effectively collaborate with others. This effective collaboration tooling helps you to be productive without compromising on quality, security, and privacy. So let's quickly see uh, how we can uh, basically make really intuitive and personalized multilingual surveys, right, with our survey builder. Uh, to start with, uh, as you can see, there are multiple options to create surveys, right, uh, be it from template, pre-built template, we are almost like a big uh, library of templates. Uh, these templates are broken down into multiple categories. You can go ahead and check uh, these categories like employee engagement, right, or say, for example, uh, employee preferences or market research, right? Uh, there are multiple and further you can uh, go and search uh, these templates. In case you are already on the platform and you have some other surveys pre-built, then you can basically use to clone surveys. Again, uh, it works, uh, the filter works onto your pre-built surveys as well, uh, right? So uh, you can do that. Uh, you can import a survey using CSV Google Forms and Google surveys, uh, or you can request, basically it's an AI driven uh, survey generation as I had uh, put it into my USB in the beginning, right? AI powered surveys, so you can uh, use it from here. So let's let's go ahead and make a survey using uh, a survey builder from ChatGPT. Let's say, for example, take a test, right? And uh, uh, let's go ahead and ask it or put a subject for it. Uh, maths test for 10th class in India. Number of questions 10. Tenth. 10th class or standard could, could have been anything. Uh, let's see how the AI piece works. Uh, the other key uh, point about this platform is uh, that it's a PWA. Uh, I am running an installed installed version on my uh, Mac. Uh, similarly, you can install it onto your mobile phones and all that, right? Even on a Windows. So here's the template which was generated by ChatGPT. Here you can see all these ten different questions which AI thinks is relevant for a tenth class maths test has been generated. Let's go ahead and select it. So a survey has been built. Uh, this survey is in draft form right now. Uh, we can change uh, the sub, uh, the title, uh, the description. We can have it at uh, these uh, different levels. You can have a page, multiple pages. Uh, we can collapse it, expand it, right? Uh, these can be moved uh, across. We can uh, edit uh, these questions. Uh, you can have weightages because you want to do a test. Right, so uh, you can give uh, marks. Marks is driven through weightages. Uh, weightages can also be used for other uh, kind of surveys, right? Uh, where you want to use the weightage logic uh, uh, in, say, for example, uh, evaluating the responses and give uh, redirecting the user to a given external page. Uh, use previous answer choices allows you to actually have a formula builder where uh, basically uh, from a previous answer choice, you can um, uh, show new options here, calculated options. In our case, it's not relevant. Maybe say, for example, uh, you, you are building uh, some order form, right, where you want to calculate the total price. In that case, you can use the formula builder or say, for example, there's some... Uh, form which builds up uh, over a period, right? Uh, you have a gender and all those kind of things. You can use there or maybe, uh, say for example, you want to calculate the uh, size or weight of something. Say for example, the cake order form, where a uh, user selects uh, a particular kind of a uh, cake flavor. Based on to that, uh, you want to show them the uh, effective size that, uh, or, or the size of the cake they should order. You can use the formula builder to calculate those kind of options. Uh, uh, we can simply disable it, right? Uh, uh, 
sorry, let's go ahead and disable it. Right, so here's how this will look like, and you can show the visibility. Uh, you want this question to be visible by default. Mandatory split survey basically means uh, uh, a user can uh, uh, retake this survey again, and uh, when they retake, if they choose a different answer choice, uh, this will act as a differentiator in their next survey intake. Right, so. Uh, uh, so if, uh, this is usually relevant, say, for example, you want to build a common survey uh, wherein uh, you are taking uh, reviews on different products, right? So split survey could be based on product IDs, right? And user can take uh, fill in the survey for different products. They choose one product once, then maybe they choose second product second time. So you can collect uh, multiple responses for different products uh, using uh, the same survey rather than basically multiple surveys. Uh, you can change the, the kind of uh, uh, the question uh, choice, be it single choice, multi-choice, right? Uh, you can have a drop down, right? So all that is possible. Uh, there are different question choices, uh, basically different options for different kind of questions. I won't dwell into those. Uh, you can clone a survey. This is cloning. Basically, this question would be repeated. Right, like this, the same question copy got created. I'll delete it. Uh, uh, you can reorder it. You can move this question to a different page. Uh, uh, say, for example, after I, I'll move it to this question and save it. So you can see the question moved. Uh, this is good for individual movement, but say, for example, you want to just reorder all the questions here and there, uh, which makes uh, better sense to use this, right? So here you can say the complete uh, reordering happened. The form saves automatically. Uh, uh, you can uh, add languages. Uh, the default language considering my account is in English. So the default language of the survey would be in English. Uh, but once, say, for example, you are a German user, Russian user, we support multiple languages, almost eight languages. So if, if you are registering uh, as a user and uh, your default language is one of these, your account would have that as a default language. And when you create a survey, that language would be used to create that survey. But you can anyhow uh, add more languages or remove languages. Say, for example, I add uh, German. Uh, right. So the survey would automatically get translated uh, to German. Uh, or maybe I'll... I'll I don't want to change the default. Uh, default language is the one. If somebody opens this survey, uh, they will see this default language and they can navigate to the other one. Here you can see that the survey automatically translated to uh, the other one. But you can always change it. Uh, say, for example, I go ahead and open this uh, here. And I see German. Uh, I can change this as well. Right, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice uh, auto translation helps you to translate it effectively for you, but you can always go ahead and change it. Styling can be at individual level. Uh, you can style each and everything, right? Say for example, one particular question, you want to highlight it separately. You can do that uh, with all these styling options at a question level. But if in case you want to style it all together, then uh, there's the styling uh, piece. Right, where you can have your own logo, thumbnail, background, right? You can choose different fonts. You can choose different colors, right, for different things. You can even change the layout page. Paginated is the standard way, uh, carousel dialogue. And then there are other options, uh, show progress bar, right? All these kind of things you can do. On top of that, there are settings uh, wherein basically you can associate the survey to a team. This is only visible uh, if... Uh, uh, say, for example, uh, you have teams. In case you don't have any teams, this, this is not visible. Uh, so let's let's align this to survey analytica. Category is test, right? Because we created the survey. In case I want to subscribe to notification, I will enable this. Public survey allows me to list this survey publicly. It will get listed automatically to Google uh, search as well as to our uh, own listing platform where our participants... Uh, uh, can participate in this particular survey. Uh, track location uh, is useful in case uh, you want to track the location of the participants. Collect offline responses is useful. Say, for example, uh, uh, you want uh, uh, to collect responses uh, from people 
where there is no internet connectivity, right? So usually you will be taking your mobile phone where this uh, survey would be saved already. You open it, take responses, all those responses would get collected in your device. And once you are in uh, range, right, network range, uh, they will automatically sync. Google measurement ID uh, is useful in case you want to track all these things. Custom variables, basically, uh, uh, say, for example, you want to personalize uh, this whole thing or you want to track who participated, right? Say, for example, this is a test and I want to publish this test to my to my 10th class 10th uh, students. So say, for example, it could be name, right? Uh, student name. Right, and I save this. So in this case, this custom variable would be available, uh, and I can uh, say uh, name, right? Uh, maybe let's let's go ahead and keep it this way, right? Uh, and maths test, and in the description, I will say name, hello. So these kind of things uh, uh, you can do, uh, right? So uh, basically, uh, uh, once you are done with all these things, uh, there's this all this versioning that you can do whatever changes uh, with Teams. It makes more sense, right? Uh, uh, and say, for example, you are collaborating with somebody in your team and they also make change. You can uh, see all the progress and you can roll back to a previous version. Uh, now you can also do undo, redo from here itself. Uh, you can collaborate outside, say, for example, you are a single, you take a single user account, uh, but you want, you are building this survey uh, uh, in collaboration, but you cannot onboard them. You can uh, basically simply add them here. So what they, uh, these people will do is they will get uh, an email uh, to preview your survey. Uh, they would have access. Otherwise, only people who are part of your team uh, can preview uh, this particular survey. Uh, but unless you don't have those people and you want to share it with some external folks to give comments onto your surveys, you can add them. Uh, once they have uh, basically in preview for those people, uh, they will see a comment section, comment button here and they can simply uh, do comments. Here I can, uh, sorry, uh, I used the wrong button. Here you can see that uh, you can just simply translate it uh, or move and check uh, different things. You can preview it. Uh, in multiple uh, ways you can also do styling here right you can uh, change the layouts and all uh, say for example I go back and uh, use, use it in English and I uh, go here and uh, change the uh, layout say for example to carousal so it moves to carousal it can move to dialogue right uh, so things like that right so uh, 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 you can show hide all these things. That's that's pretty much uh, standard, right? So uh, once you are happy with all of this, uh, uh, say for example, uh, I'm not saving this. Uh, I will simply go yes exit. Uh, you can publish or you can add restrictions. Uh, uh, if I go back, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, basically uh, you can add rules. Rules is basically the personalization piece. One piece was basically the, the user custom variables that I showed, right? You can have name and all that shown. Second thing is you can have rules. Uh, say, for example, if the answer is 360, right? Uh, uh, you uh, uh, show a different question, you go to a page, right? All those kind of things you can do. Uh, you can do, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, so that's, that's very much possible uh, from here itself. Now I go ahead and uh, publish it. Uh, restrictions is uh, you can basically either upload or add restriction. You want, say, for example, you're creating this uh, survey for only uh, uh, a particular school class, right? So you can restrict it based on email domain, email location. Registered, registered means you want uh, responses uh, from registered users. So they would need to register or a mobile phone. So all that you can do here. Uh, 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 
basically this is a test so you would want to go to survey results right uh, uh, you can design an end page here uh, this would be shown uh, uh, results a separate piece which you cannot really design but rest you can design right uh, thanks for participating in this uh, quiz right congratulations you can have button ctas right where you want to take the user as well uh, so uh, basically it's a completely custom design uh, and you can save this uh, now you can have a completion message uh, all together which is also translated to multiple you can have a schedule you can uh, collect feedback on your survey uh, say for example you are building the survey and you want feedback that's that's pretty much uh, possible uh, once you are done with all of this, you can simply publish. Uh, publish will turn your survey live. And uh, from here, uh, more or less, uh, uh, you can create a collector. Collectors basically means uh, uh, the actual links uh, uh, on which the survey would be possible. It could be web link. It, it's uh, email is, say, for example, an email template you can create and you can register uh, your own uh, email domain. Uh, to send emails, right? So <clears throat> that's possible. Uh, we have a default template uh, which which can be used. Uh, I have already registered with this uh, email ID, uh, so I can send using this email ID, uh, right? Uh, but for other people uh, who have not registered, they will see a button to register uh, or uh, uh, their email ID. Uh, you can completely customize this template. Right, uh, you can save a template, send, uh, right? So there are standard template, sample template. Uh, uh, standard template uh, is the one, uh, basically, that is this one, right? And uh, sample template, right? So you can choose or you can build and once you save it, it will start listing here, your templates. And then you can simply send by putting in the email IDs and subject. Uh, web link, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, this this link got generated. Uh, you can turn it off. Uh, if you turn it off, basically, uh, what means is even if people get this email and they click on this uh, link, there won't be any survey for them, uh, right? So uh, basically, they won't they won't be able to uh, participate in the survey uh, because you have deactivated. Uh, same goes for web link, uh, web link QR code, right? So QR code uh, allows you to basically uh, modify, download, right? And uh, use it maybe at places, right? Uh, you can have it in your class, maybe in this example, just, uh, students can simply uh, scan this. Uh, you can have background, you can disable response override, which means that uh, uh, in case the same user participates again, usually we take the latest one, but since you don't want, uh, you only want one time uh, participation, you can disable uh, response override. So basically, uh, the same user cannot take it uh, multiple times. Uh, so uh, that's basically multiple things. You can uh, register your uh, this survey on Shopify. You can do it on website. Website, basically, you can choose different things. You can build rules, all of that, right? So that's uh, basically on the uh, on the survey uh, thing. You can uh, do seamless uh, integrations, uh, uh, which where I come to my second uh, USB, which is integrations. You can do uh, this. Uh, these integrations allow you to seamlessly add uh, responses uh, that are collected uh, for this particular survey. Uh, take actions basically based on logic and uh, uh, pass on uh, that particular response to a target. I won't be building anything uh, here because this is computationally expensive, right? Uh, I will show you things that are already built. You can either do it from here uh, or you can do it from here. Uh, here it will show it for all the, uh, uh, all the flows or uh, real-time integration that you have built. We call it flows. Uh, uh, here I can uh, pick up, say, for example, one which has some good amount of logic in it, right? Uh, so let's let's build up this one. Uh, so you can name it, uh, right? The trigger is survey response. And uh, you can uh, basically choose a survey which you want to use and uh, on what action you want, right? Create, update, or delete uh, trigger. And uh, you can just keep on adding uh, these conditions and actions. So say, for example, this is the trigger. 
uh, you create you have conditions wherein uh, uh, for a particular attribute what you want right so vertical is uh, one of the uh, questions uh, or uh, custom variables uh, for this particular survey this custom variable if the value is this uh, all right uh, this is the first condition or the second condition is this or you can have an additional condition branch so these conditions basically act as if else condition if this if else this if else this and you can have an else all together right which means false so all of that is possible and once you do that and automatically an action gets associated uh, with a with a condition and within that uh, action you can decide what you want to do right so here we are actually sending it to google sheets uh, now what you want to uh, send you can configure all these fields uh, right and within these fields uh, you can have a custom logic say for example you want to alter the uh, mobile number right and you want to change uh, the field name uh, what's visible onto the sheet uh, once you have that sheet you can generate headers and all those kind of things uh, similarly, there are other kind of flows, right? Uh, here it's Google Sheet. You can have Webhook, Mailchimp, MyHub. Webhooks can be used for other kind of integrations like Salesforce and all. Uh, so we have done uh, a Salesforce integration for one hour customer uh, using Webhooks. Uh, so that's uh, uh, the integration piece. This is all real time. Uh, the moment uh, a response gets uh, triggered, it, it follows, uh, flows through. Uh, this flow and uh, passes it right uh, as as for the teams uh, piece as i had explained uh, since they uh, we support collaboration and if you want to work alone on a particular thing you don't want it to be touched by others within your team you can lock it it's uh, once you lock it it's not editable uh, you can clone a particular uh, flow same goes for all the types right surveys if you go to survey listing you'll also see it like this uh, so that's uh, the second USP of the solution, uh, the flows uh, that uh, that you can uh, do. The other USP is the teams, the collaboration. Part of the collaboration piece I had showcased, right, where you don't go with the teams, but you still want to collaborate. Uh, you are a single user account uh, and you want to collaborate uh, with others. So that's possible using comments and team onboarding. Uh, not, sorry, team onboarding, but... Uh, uh, participant onboarding uh, for previewing your surveys. So here there are multiple teams. Uh, you can see uh, once you create a team, uh, this is a test team, right? Uh, uh, you can basically have a quota, right? Uh, for all the responses that you have uh, applied for as part of your subscription in a month, right? How many you want for this particular team? You can name a team. You can add edit members. Uh, you can give different roles uh, to members, right? You can specify a working period that, okay, for only for this particular period. So you need not be worried that, okay, you onboard somebody on your team for some period, like uh, uh, running some, some particular kind of campaigns or surveys. And you need not be worried that, okay, uh, uh, once this ends, you have to go and deboard them. They'll get automatically deboarded. Uh, accepted, active, basically uh, active means this particular user is active. Uh, accepted means uh, once you create this team and add a user, they will get an invite. Uh, this accepted shows that, okay, they have accepted it, right? Sometimes, uh, say, for example, uh, you will uh, uh, see that uh, people complain uh, we accepted and it's not working and all that. So it gives you a status that, okay, they really accepted or not. Uh, so uh, this way you can, uh, uh, okay, and uh, basically you have to on give their name, email, all of this is mandatory. Uh, what kind of email provider they use, uh, right? The account belongs to which, which kind of email provider. So uh, if you choose this, this will, uh, in their onboarding experience, they will get an SSO, right? Or uh, a single sign-on kind of or from these uh, uh, providers. What role you have? Right, admin, surveyor, report manager, or an agent. Agent uh, role is for offline collection, uh, right? So if you onboard a user for agent and you are taking offline uh, responses for your surveys, so they will see uh, this particular survey in their listing, and uh, basically on their mobile device or whatever, they can collect responses. They can travel and uh, collect responses, and uh, so basically it will automatically synchronize. Uh, 
that's uh, part of uh, this uh, uh, the team onboarding right uh, within a team you can see all the surveys uh, which are there since this team is uh, i just created this team to showcase uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, so there are no responses but uh, say for example i pick up this particular one uh, for every team you can see how many responses uh, they have collected right uh, over a period of time uh, so that's uh, all uh, uh, from here surveys basically allows you to uh, see all the uh, it's it's paginated right you can see all that finally uh, the analytics uh, uh, which is part of a survey so say for example i pick up one of uh, the surveys uh, like this survey and we can go to analytics so analytics is completely intuitive uh, right uh, so you can see uh how uh, people are uh, right uh, responding to your different questions so uh, few people who are really dissatisfied or average right? so you can figure it out uh, uh, what kind of users are there and on which days they actually visited your survey which part uh, sorry yeah uh, which which property uh, they visited right how they rated rest of the things right what kind of comments so uh, uh, all these uh, surveys uh, uh, this text uh, based survey uh, responses could be uh, also uh, what do you call sentiment analyzed right so when you are building this uh, these kind of questions which are open text uh, open uh, questions so you can simply select uh, uh, an option called uh, the sentiment analysis right and based on to that uh, you can do this so uh, that's 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 all uh, i'll be stopping the recording